A herd of wildebeest, a shoal of fish, a flock of birds. Many animals gather in large groups that are among the most wonderful spectacles in the natural world. And why do these groups form? The common answers include things like seeking safety in numbers, or hunting in packs, or gathering to mate or breed. And all of these explanations, while often true, make a huge assumption about animal behaviour that the animals are in control of their own actions, that they are in charge of their bodies, and that is often not the case. There's something awful happening in our culture. A disease so powerful, its existence cannot be stopped. I'm talking about drug addiction. Okay. As humans, of course, Plus. are no stranger to manipulation. We take drugs to shift the chemistries of our brains and to change our mood. And what are arguments or advertising or big ideas, if not an attempt to influence someone else's mind. Now humans, of course, are no stranger to manipulation. We take drugs to shift the chemistries of our brains and to change our mood. And what are arguments or advertising or big ideas, if not an attempt to influence someone else's mind? Now, humans, of course, are no stranger to manipulation. We take drugs to shift the chemistries of our brains and to change our moods. And what are arguments or advertising or big ideas, if not an attempt to influence someone else's mind? Now, I think this is part of what makes parasites so sinister and so compelling. We place such a premium on our free will and our independence that the prospect of losing those qualities to forces unseen informs many of our deeper societal fears. Orwellian dystopias and shadowy cabals and mind-controlling supervillains, these are tropes that fill our darkest fiction. But in nature, they happen all the time. Which leads me to an obvious and disquieting question. Are there dark, sinister parasites that are influencing our behaviour without us knowing about it? And I think that um, this capacity to constantly subvert our way of thinking about the world makes parasites amazing. They're constantly inviting us to look at the natural world sideways and to ask if the behaviours we're seeing, whether they're simple and obvious or baffling and puzzling, are not the results of individuals acting through their own accord but because they are being bent to the control of something else.